Hello everyone, how you doing today? Keandre Walker in the building, AKA Was Never Media, is here to speak on what's going on in the Bronx. Uh, this always makes me think and wonder that not every woman deserves to be a mother. Not every woman. Because this happens. We lost another life because of a mother. Bronx mother, a six-year-old girl, found dead, charged with endangering the welfare of the child. This is what happens when these so-called women, I'm not talking about all women, I'm talking about the ones who say they want a child, but then they don't want a child. But why you gotta kill what you brought into the world? I saw this video and this child was in, in fear of her life. Her life was in danger at that moment. So, the mother of a six-year-old girl who died in the Bronx has been arrested and charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Lanija Eason was arrested on Saturday and charged with two counts of endangering the welfare of a child. This comes as the death of the young girl remains under investigation. Under investigation. Police say Jaliah Eason died Friday after she arrived at the hospital with bruising all over her body an autopsy will determine her cause of death. You, the mother of this child, bruised her own child. For what reason? What reason? This child could have been could have been given a better life if she was able to choose her mother. And so Issa's mother called 911 just after 4 a.m. reporting the injuries. Police responded to the forest houses on East 165, 165th Street and found the child unconscious in her mother's bedroom. Authorities say she had bruising and trauma on her wrist and torso. I think the mother tried to make it seem as if she did nothing wrong, but the way this video I saw of this child, this child was in fear of her life to be around this woman. So, Jaliah was taken to NYC Health and Hospital where she was pronounced dead. The detectives are questioning her mother, but no charges have been filed. Place the charges on her. The mom did it. She did it. I don't know what's going on in this world that we live in. I don't know what's going on in this world that we live in where children are passing away by people that are supposed to love them and treat them with, with respect and show them how to live in the world that we live in today. This girl had been living in a squalid 12th floor apartment that was filthy filled with clothes and other belongings 
thrown about. So the environment she was in was disgusting. Disgusting. A downstairs neighbor said she often heard crying from the upstairs apartment above. So the person that lived below her heard nothing but consistent crying. Like, are we serious? Two other children, an eight-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl, have been removed from the household by ACS. The other children also appear to have older injuries. The investigation into the death is ongoing. This should not be an investigation. You got the culprit who did it. You got the person who did it. Because this makes me believe that not there is people out here in America who want to have a family, but then the the women who want to have a family see this happening makes you think otherwise on like like what's the goal? Because if you're going to have, if you're going to bring a child into this world and then treat them bad, we got a problem. We got a problem. There is more important things going on in America than what is being shown to the world. Lovely, they show this, but... Like, thankful that they show this for people to see that there is more important things in the world that we are losing besides the agenda that is at hand. And prayers are up for this child that has lost a life. That she is not surrounded by the woman who brought her into this world. Comment down below how you feel about this situation. And I'm going to leave you to it. Peace.